the dinosaur who wanted to fly. Michael Salmon Dinosaurs The dinosaurs were land animals that ruled the world for over 140 million years. The last dinosaurs died out about 60 million years before people first appeared. The name dinosaurs means terrible lizards. They were a special group of prehistoric reptiles and their closest living relatives are the crocodiles. Dinosaurs grew far larger than any land animal alive today. Just one of the largest dinosaurs would have weighed more than 1,500 people. However, there were some dinosaurs that grew no bigger than a chicken. They came in many shapes and sizes. Some plotted on all fours. Some walked and ran on their hind legs like ostriches. There were both fierce meat-eating dinosaurs and ones that ate plants. Some lived on hills, others roamed low plains and dry areas. Most preferred the lush forests that covered large parts of the earth. It wasn't until the last century that people realised that dinosaurs actually had existed. Since then, thousands of skeletons have been collected all over the world. How to pronounce the dinosaur and prehistoric animal names in this book? Triceratops, three-horned face, Triceratops. Pteranodon, winged lizard, Tyrannodon. T Pterodactyl, winged fingers, Tyrodactyl. Ankylosaurus, crooked lizard, Ankylosaur. Elasmosaur, metal-plated lizard, Elasmosaur. Tyrannosaurus, tyrant king lizard, Tyrannosaurus rex. Triceratops. Triceratops was the largest and best known of the horned dinosaur family. It had a frilly bone collar and three horns, two larger ones on its head and a smaller one on its nose. It grew up to 9 metres, 30 feet long, and with its sharp horns and heavy body, with sturdy legs, it had a reputation as a savage fighter. Even the fiercest dinosaur of all, the Tyrannosaurus rex, would think twice before attacking this armoured dinosaur. Triceratops could run quite fast for a reptile, and is thought to have been a plant eater, and probably lived in herds similar to the plant-eating mammals of today. Triceratops was among the last dinosaurs to appear on Earth. Wilma was a Triceratops, one of the most famous of all dinosaurs. There was something very different about Wilbur. Wilbur would spend hours and hours just looking up at the pterosaurs as they flew high above him. Wilbur watched the pteranodon glide. He watched the small pterodactyl as it swooped down from the sky to snap up insects with its jaws. The fact was, Wilbur had a secret. He wanted to fly too, but it wasn't a secret for very long. The other Triceratops caught him running down a hill as fast as he could, flapping his arms and trying to fly. When they saw him fall over his tail and land in a heap, Wilbur's friends were worried. When Wilbur told his friends what he was trying to do, they just laughed and said, Wilbur, you are a Triceratops. You are not a pterosaur. You'll never be able to fly. But Wilbur had a new idea. He climbed to the top of the tallest tree fern that he could find and picked two large leaves. Wilbur waved the leaves as hard as he could, and then he jumped. Ker-splat! Wilbur landed head first in soft mud. He just missed an ankylosaur. Wilbur would not give up. He took out his drawing board and his best piece of charcoal. 
Then he sat down to design some wings that would really work. Wilbur worked all through the night. In the morning, Wilbur's wings were ready and he proudly showed them off. Then he dragged his wings up the top of a cliff high above the sea. Wilbur tied his wings to his arms, ran to the edge of the cliff and jumped. Splash! Wilbur's wings did not work, and Elasmosaur lifted a very wet, sad Triceratops out of the water and put him on a rock. Wilbur decided he would never be able to fly. He put his designs and his wings into a large sack then dragged them up to the top of a small volcano. I'll get rid of them for good, he thought, as he tipped the sack into the volcano. Just then, a strange thing happened. As Wilbur emptied the sack, he quickly filled up with hot air from the volcano. The sack started to rise above Wilbur's head. Wilbur grabbed the sack, but instead of Wilbur holding the sack down, the sack lifted Wilbur up. Wilbur couldn't believe it. He was really flying. The hot air sack carried Wilbur high above the forests and over the swamps. What a view, he thought. The pterosaurs that flew by were amazed. They couldn't believe that a triceratops was flying. As the hot air in the sack cooled down, Wilbur descended gently towards the ground. By this time, a huge crowd of dinosaurs had gathered. The dinosaurs surrounded Wilbur as he landed. Wilbur was rather shy at first, but he was very happy when he saw how proud the other dinosaurs were of him. Wilbur's the bravest dinosaur in the whole world, they said. When Wilbur went to bed that night, he knew being the only flying Triceratops was not the safest thing to be. But it had been fun, he thought, and with that he fell fast asleep. <laughs>